informative classics. Welcome to episode one of Outlaws Untold Stories. So guys, this story comes from Alabama. Um, it's a newspaper out of Alabama. Tuscaloosa, the Tuscaloosa. The story is from September 24th, 1896. And it's about an outlaw out of Alabama who terrorized that area for years. So without wasting any more time, let's get into this story of the outlaw Bart Thrasher and how he came to his demise. So, the following details of the killing of Bart Thrasher is clipped from the Birmingham News graphic account of the affair. No one in Birmingham but the few in counties of Jefferson, Walker, and Bibb have not heard of Bart Thrasher and his de desperate gang. The leader, Dents, escaped from Pratt Mines Penitentiary was the murderer of a Negro at Horse Creek, robber of men on highways of story, stores, post offices, and express offices. Ex-Deputy Sheriff Cole has been working on the case for some weeks. He went with a posse organized by Sheriff Lethem of Bibb County to, kept, to catch Bart after he had escaped the last time from the penitentiary at the time, Lig Thrasher, a younger brother of Bart, was killed. Last week, Mr. Cole secured information as to exact whereabouts of men wanted, accompanied by Deputy Sheriff James Ball, one of the best officers in the state. He set out for Walker County. It was a certain that for some weeks, Thrasher and his pals were operating between Colberg and Horse Creek, occasionally committing robberies and making whiskey and selling it. Mercer's coal and ball did but little walk, walking around in the daytime. All their arrangements for the final were made to occur in the nighttime. On Sunday evening, Thrasher and Pals were expected at the crossroads five miles from Horse Creek. They were to meet with some supposed friends and they kept their engagement, but they did not get close enough to the officers. The arrangements were made to meet again at a crossroads for Monday night. Monday afternoon, Thrasher and his pals started for Horse Creek. They intended going there and then to Bessmere. The two men were on a blind road and were walking as surely along Painter was with Thrasher, the first name had his coat in his hand. Chamberly, the third man, was a little behind as they walked along the path. Deputy Sheriff Ball was on the left-hand side of the road behind a tree stump, while ex-Deputy Sheriff Cole was located in some bushes on the opposite side of the road. As the desperado walked along, they talked all of a sudden, Painter remarked, somebody's in the head of us, to which Thrasher replied, well, be goddamn. They be, they're bad, better keep out of our way. It was, but give seconds later, would a loud shot was heard. Henry's cold, double-barreled shotgun spoke and Thrasher fell to the ground pierced in the right side with the buckshot. A second shot from Mr. Cole's gun spoke in less than a minute. Later, Panner attempted to run and made towards the place where Ball was. The latter rushed out and pointing his gun at the man, ordering him to th throw up his hands. Instead of doing this, Painter attempted to draw his Winchester rifle to a head on the officer and the latter fired. Painter dropped 
to the earth, the third man got away. Painter was approached, but he said he was going to die. He talked freely. Why didn't you throw up your hands? Asked Deputy Sheriff Ball of Painter. It would have been better for you to have done so. Painter did not reply. Mr. Tanner, who lived a short distance away, came up and his ox team was secured for the purpose of carrying the dead man and his wounded pal to Horse Creek. Painter made a general statement. He said that he came here from Georgia where he had skipped a bond. He was arrested in the neighborhood, neighboring state for robbing an express office. He admitted being with Thrasher when Bass was killed in Buckton and said that his shot did not strike the officer, but that Bart had fired the fatal shot. He acknowledged to having robbed Barton's store at Colbert, the commission, Neri at Victor Mines, Gravely's store at Demo Democrat, the De Depot at Bryan Station. Excuse me, guys. These, guys, these people wrote terribly back then, so I'm just trying to read this as best I can. The express office at Woodstock, the post office at Kimball, on the Alabama Great Southern Railroad, and other places. The bodies were carried to Horse Creek, arriving there about midnight. A large crowd had gathered there and having heard of the affair. When the body arrived here, there was a large crowd at the depot. The remains were followed to the undertaking establishment and the live man to the jail. Uh, Henry Cole, this tells a little story about Henry Cole. We're going to pass over that. He was in a posse that shot and killed Lord Thrasher in Bibb County near Big Springs. He shot and killed Jim Morrison. Okay, this is his story. I'm going to pass over that. Tells the story of Jim Ball. I'm going to pass over that as well and get right back into this Bart Thrasher. Bart Thrasher is a member of the Thrasher family that have lived for years and years in Bibb County in the neighborhood of Woodstock and, and Bulkton. His father was killed several years back by Detective Barnes Morgan, who is now an employee of the Southern Railway. Bart was for a number of years a partner of Jim Morrison, also a Bibb County, and crops such as robbery, burglary, and so forth. Thrasher escaped three times for Pratt, from Pratt Mines, it was last November that he made the most daring escape of all. He led a gang of nine desperate men, and overpowering the guards, the party managed to get to the outside. The dogs were quickly gotten out and placed on the trail of men, and some of them were overtaken and recaptured. Thrasher managed to elude arrest, and he moved down and the neighborhood of Big Springs and Woodstock. Complaints were made as to petty robbery and other things, and finally Sheriff Lethem of Big County organized a posse in which he took Deputy Sheriff Pink of Montgomery and Griffin Base Bass of Bibb County and Henry Cole and Bob Woodrup of Birmingham. The posse lay in the woods near Big Springs waiting for Bart to come along, it was known that he was to pass that way. Presently, a man with a shotgun on his shoulder came along the road. He was looking for someone. It was Bart that he was looking for. The members of the posse suggested that all action be postponed until the missing party showed up. Sheriff Lethem thought that a bird in hand was worth two in a bush to throw up his hands it was Lig Thrasher had attempted to draw his gun, but was filled with a shot. He was brought to Birmingham and died some hours later. Since the Thrasher had been scheming for vengeance, accompanied by a painter, he went to Buckton for four or five weeks ago and killed Deputy Sheriff Bass in a drugstore in Shuttletown a suburb of Buckton. The two men 
made their escape and came to Jefferson and Walker counties a couple of weeks back. Painter and Thrasher were seen and fired at near Colberg, in full account of which appeared in the news. For that on the movements of the men were followed, Thrasher about 5'11 inches high was not stout. He had light hair with a reddish mustache. So that ends the account of Bart Thrasher. Look out for more outlaw untold stories here on Informative Classics. Peace out.